Hi, I'm Stuart from SOB Leadworks. Welcome to part two. Let's go and have a look to see what's left to do. Okay, so what we've got to do now is concentrate on these two end parts and getting the bays in, both sides of this chimney. Also got a bit of mess and vent just to finish off through there, so we'll get that on as well. So what we'll do, get all this, this timber off here, get these black sheets peeled back, um, start setting out the wood rolls and start getting some bays through here. And we've got the sack here, same detail this side as well. Uh, get the base in on that last corner and the other side of that chimney. And then we just need to concentrate on getting this ridge line through underneath here. Take all this ply off and this sheep still got a lead ridge to come all the way through there. We'll add all the caps over the rolls and run up the hips as well. But um, I think what we'll do, we'll start on this side first and then um, just work our way slowly through there. Okay, so now this black sheet's off, it's a little bit easier to see. So um, yeah, we're gonna get this little nucleus and vent on there first. Then what we'll do is sweep all this off, get some heat on there to dry all this off. Just don't really wanna put uh, lead on when it's all wet underneath, so we'll get all that dried off. Then we'll start putting these, these wood rolls on. I've still got my pencil marks on here, just about see them. There's another one just there where my finger is. So we'll draw to the centre of those lines. So at least I've already set these out. Another one there, there, there. You can just see them. So we get all this wood on. Then um, get some lid up here. Start running through here. Okay, as you can see, that Nicholson vent's fitted now. That's all done. Also, all these wood rolls are now on, on this side, as you can see. Um, what I'm gonna do, so I'm just going to concentrate on this end first. I'm not going to worry about stripping that end off because I don't want to uncover too much in one go. Um, I think I'll just leave that, that far end alone for the moment. Concentrate down here. Um, so what I'll do, so I'll get this bay in here first. I'll do this one and this one. I'm not going to do the third bay at the moment because I still need to get to the front there and put a little tiny bit of wood roll the front of that Nicholson vent there but my access for that isn't great I'm about to try and rig something up to, how to get to the front of that but what I'll do is to get some area in first we go this one this one we'll leave that one out and then we'll start down here and that that bottom bay there come through here um, and then we'll come around to the other side of this chimney start and get those bays in as well um, and then we'll do the same on the other side. Okay, so I've literally just finished knocking up the last bay on this side. So they're all in now with the undercloaks. So what I'm gonna do now is just concentrate, get all these overcloaks over, get this side finished off, and it just leaves two bays around this chimney stack now on this side. Um, scaffold is going to get a bit of scaffold at the bottom there and create a little stage. So what I'll be able to do is get a ladder off that stage, up the slates to get to the front of these chimney stacks. So we get this side completely finished off. Then we concentrate on that far end and get all that stripped off, get the timber on there, start getting some of their base on. Okay, so I've just finished bossing over these roll ends now. So what I think I'm going to do, I think I'm going to leave this side here for the minute. I'm not going to worry about trimming up the splash laps and getting the front edge down just yet because it's a, a nice dry day today. I want to take advantage of that. That's what I'll do. I'll come over to this side. We'll get all this ply out of the way. Get this sheet folded back. Um, get some wood rolls set out and screwed on there. Start getting some lid on this side. Why well, it's nice and dry and if it does rain, I can always fall back to this, get these uh, splash laps trimmed up and get all that front down. Um, I think that's the plan. Okay, I've just finished setting out and screwing down these wood rolls on this last end. So we can start getting some lead on here now. What I'm gonna do, we start down here with this bottom bay here, get that one in, work our way through to the opposite end, that one there. Um, then hopefully by then the scaffold will become a little station down at the bottom there for us to get a ladder up the slates so we can access the front of the chimney stack and then we can work through 
from the other end of the chimney, get those last two bays in there. Um, then that'll be all the, uh, the bays on the flat roof. Okay, I've just uh, got the last bay going on, on this side, which I've just knocked up now. It's just there. Uh, I thought they were gonna sit this one in. And I think I'm gonna get all this front edge down, trim up these splash laps, get all that side completely finished off, and then come over to this side, dress these splash laps back down. I just had to lift them up to put a bit more oil underneath. Um, we we'll get all that front down, uh, splash laps trimmed up, and get the, the uh, front turned into the Nicholson Glen. Um, and then it was just gonna leave a couple of bays around the chimney stack on that one couple of bays around chimney stack on that one but what I'll probably do next is uh, concentrate on these hips and ridge line okay that's these two end sections finished now um, all that leads turned into the nucleus and vent as far as we can go can't do these 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 bays here at the moment because still need to run this hip up um, so we can cut out the extra thickness off there so we'll leave leave them ones for now um, so what I'm going to do now is concentrate on this ridge line. Um, I would ideally prefer to get all the bays in first, but um, Scaffolder hasn't worked his magic yet. I don't think he's coming until Friday, so keep things moving along with we'll this ridge line. Um, what I've done is I've cut a load of clips, 150mm uh, by 50mm, all of them on both sides. I'm just going to weld these onto every bay in the middle of each one. Uh, work my way through there and then what I'll do basically the laps on this ridge are going to be in the center of the base um, so I'm going to start from the center here so we'll miss one and the next lap will be in the center of that bay there and we'll work through like that um, so they're going to be about 1.4 of 400 code 5 so we'll get these clips welded on and then start running this ridge through Okay, as you can see, I've just started putting this ridge line through now. Um, so basically, what we we'll do: get your get your uh, get your piece of lead. Uh, we've done ours, so the um, the lap's going to be in the centre of the bay. Um, sit it on there. This is a uh, 400 of 1.4 code code five. Um, get a few nails underneath the lap, and then just mark either side of your roll on both sides. Then what we're going to do just literally get a pair of snips cut into those lines to where it meets the ridge roll on both sides and cut that bit completely out and then just dress it in and then you'll end up with something like that so work our way through there getting that on and then we can have a look at the uh, the caps to weld on okay that's all that the ridge on it now as, as much as we can do for the moment until we get those last little bays around the chimney. That's all dressed in now and um, and trimmed up, ready for the caps. So I've just started making up some caps now. What I've got basically, I've got some bits of lead here which I've cut 190 by 190. And what I do is I just get it, bend up about 15 mil on it, just put it on the halfway point. And you, using your hands, you can just fold it round like that, dress that bit down. Then using a bit of heat and a bossing mallet you can just um, dress it in trim up and then hopefully should end up something looking like that um, so that's ready for welding so what i'm going to do now is just work my way all the way through here start making up all these caps ready to be welded okay that's all these caps welded now as far as we can go for the for the minute um, there's still a bit more to do obviously but we need to get those bays around the chimney first and still waiting for the scaffolder to turn up. But I think he's hopefully gonna come Monday. So I think Monday we'll be able to get to the front of these chimney stacks and get the get the, uh, get the the bows around those. But I think next thing we can do now then while we're waiting for that to happen is might as well run these, run these hips up. So it's very, very similar yeah. process. Just gonna weld a clip in the middle of the bay. And then we'll just do the laps. Um, central to the bays again like we did with the ridge line okay it's now monday morning and uh scaffolders still haven't arrived at the moment 
was kind of hoping they'd be here first thing, but um, no such luck. Um, I'm sure they'll come at some point today. Um, Cause I was hoping to uh, concentrate on getting these bays around the chimney now, or do the hips. I could still do these hips. Um, things are still a bit icy and a bit wet. So what I'm gonna actually do is leave this flat roof for the, for the minute. Um, I've just got a little cap to do on top of this chimney pot. This one just here. So what they've done is they've, uh, they've plied the top edge for me. Um, got a bit of lead here which I've already cut which was oversized and I'll just plonk that on I've marked around where it's going to bend down I've left it another 70 mil extra that's so what I'm going to do is just plonk that on there make sure it lines up with my marks then using my heat I'm going to work my way around and boss that round into this profile and hopefully come down to about here somewhere and then trim that off so I'm going to just quickly get this bit done first Okay, that's all on there now and uh, bossed down and trimmed up. I must admit, that did take a bit, if I'm honest, to get that down. Um, what I've done is I just, to keep it there, I was hoping that when I dressed it into there that it was going to be enough to keep it there, but it's a little bit worried, so just put a fix in on the top there and just welded a dot over just to make sure that's not going to go anywhere. So that's, uh, that's that out of the way now. Now, unfortunately, scaffold just still hasn't turned up, so literally all i can do now to keep this going is start running these hips so we can get this this bottom one in on this side and get this bottom one in on this side as well um and if the scaffold just still haven't turned up by then we can do the same on this side as well and get this one in can't get that one in yet because we still need to put the uh the bays through there so i think uh that's going to be the plan Okay, it's now the next day in the future, and um, as you can see, this hip is on there now as much as we can do at that point. It started coming up on this one as well, as far as we can go until we get this bay in here. And as if by magic, we now have a scaffold platform in place, so we can now get to the front of these uh, chimneys. That bit of roll's been fixed on there, ready to go. So, what I'm going to do now is uh, concentrate getting these bays around these chimney stacks as you can see these are quite quite awkward little ones lots of angles and stuff going on here so we'll concentrate and try and get try and get all the way around there and also this next one too got a few more bays on this one two more than i actually realized um so we've got a little tiny narrow bay in there and just a couple more on the other side of that chimney so um let's get this organized okay that's that one knocked up now um not gonna lie that one's got more shapes than what you see at the weekend on the on the night on the town so <laughs> let's see uh what this one goes in like hopefully it's gonna fit like a glove but um there's quite a few different angles and stuff going on here so um let's have a look see what she what she fits like and uh, catch you in a bit okay uh that was going in pretty nicely actually i was pretty pleased with that um so that's that one in there now and uh, also fitted this this next bay around the other side of the chimney as well that one's all in there now um i just uh finished welding up that front as well i had to um cut and weld that roll in because it's too it's too short to boss it's literally about 50 mil um so now they're in around the chimney i think what i'm going to do is leave that there I'm not going to dress that down yet. I'm going to fall back onto the other side and get the uh, get the bays around the other chimney stack. Okay, so that's those bays around that chimney stack as well now. And as you can see, I've already dressed the splash laps and got that front down too. So that's all finished off now. Um, the way around there, that's all done now. It's all in place. Um, also now, I've dressed all this one down as well. That's all finished off through there as well now. Um, so now we're on the last last knock-ins. We've got a little bit of ridge to do through here. A little bit of hip to finish off down there. Come to this side. Got a hip to run here. Hip to run there. And we've just got these 
these two sort of like stepped areas to do. Another one there, and then we can dress and trim this tray, and that'll be job done. So um, I'm going to start running up these hips and get this ridge through. Okay, I've just uh, finished putting that ridge through now, and uh, that bit of hips done there as well. So it just leaves that last little stepped bow there to do on that side. And coming through here, I've just finished running these hips as well. So that's all done. That one's gone up as far as that can go as well. So um, got another stepped area to do here too. I think what I'm going to do, I'm going to start on this one first. Going to bring this bay through, bring it right through to pick up this ridge here. Have some caps over there. Got some caps over there to do as well. Bring it round here to to pick into this as well. So I'm going to get this one done. And catch you in a bit. Okay, I've just finished uh, getting that one in now. I'm not going to just a tray down on that one just yet. I think what I'm going to do is concentrate on this one and get this one in as well. Um, just sell it in there, cut it all in, and uh, trimmed it ready for ready for welding. So I'm going to make all these gussets, get that welded, um, and then we're pretty much there now. Um, Gonna wear some clips around the bay, cut them, cut, dress down, and trim up these, trim up these two trays. Give it all another coat of oil, and uh, that'll be job done. Okay, that's all those gussets welded in there now, and that all finished off. As you can see, this um, their trays now all dressed down, trimmed, and the corners have been welded on that. So that's all done. Same on this side, that's all finished off as well now. It's all dressed down. So that about wraps things up. Okay, that's me all done here. Um, hope you liked this video. If you did, please give it a thumbs up. Um, if you're new to the channel, please subscribe. You can also check me out on Instagram at SMB Leatherworks. Hopefully catch you in the next. Cheers.